Hello, I'm Ben Bamboozle and it's another camping vlog. Um, I've come to a campsite near Seven Oaks. I'll insert the name. Oh, Morley's Farm, that's the one. I always forget the name of campsites. Um, anyway, it's an adults only campsite and I'm on my own. Uh, it's a little bit strange so far compared to what I've um, experienced so far with my camping trips. Um, <laughs> it's a bit random, but it has got a lovely view. The only problem is it's on quite a slope. Uh, so I'm going to build up where I've put the tarpaulin there. Um, hopefully that's not too slopey there. I'm just trying to work it all out. Uh, there's a bit of a wooded area behind me here. Um, there's only one other tent here and I feel a bit, it feels a bit strange at the moment. So I'm not sure. Apparently there's a couple of fishing lakes here, but I don't know whether it's just that there's someone near the train line down there. I've seen one train go past. So I have to go and look for that in a bit. But anyway, I'm going to try and get set up. I'm really hungry. It is now nearly seven o'clock. Um, I've been at work all day doing my Punch and Judy show in Worthing Town Centre today. And uh, I could do with getting the tent up and getting some food on. So you're not allowed to drive the car on here either. So I've parked the car where are we? there. <laughs> and all my gear is, well, some of the gear is here. I've got more to bring. So let's see if I can get the tent up. Um, I'm a bit worried about this slope. I can see me sliding out of the bed. This is a nicer, quieter spot up here, as far away from them as possible, the other tent. Um, I could go that side and there is a bit of flat against the wall, but it's not as nice. I'm thinking if I could build up here and have my front looking out that way, um, it'd be quite private and there'd be quite a nice view to wake up to in the morning. So that's the plan anyway. I'll get back to you on that. Let's have a look. I'm doing a little lay on the mat to see if I think that this is going to be too much of a slope. Um, I have brought some stuff to put underneath the um, air mat. Uh, it's on a funny sort of camber here, but I think it'll be okay. I'm a little bit OCD with things like this. Making sure I've got the right position. I'm the same when I'm doing my Punch and Judy show as well. So maybe that will be the spot. <laughs> I reckon. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, where would you pitch the tent on this field here? Uh, well, safe fields, a bit of area. I'm not sure what this place is here. It looks like it could be a kid's nursery, which I assume is closed for the summer holidays. Yeah. Got the horses down here as well. Anyway, I'm muffling. Let's get the tent out of the bag. This is my tent, for those who haven't watched the channel before. It is a Van Gogh Cragmore 400, and it goes in that bag. That's actually the smallest part of all my kit. That's the air bed. Um, I've got the Van Gogh Shangri-La. And that is the Krua Color. That's an interior insulated tent. That's the frame of the tent up. Um, it's a little bit fiddly actually. I don't know what I was messing around with. I, I was trying to be clever and put the, there's only three poles, but the two main ones in and thought I'd be clever and put the porch one in. I think it's probably easier to do the porch right at the end. Um, so now I'm gonna get the internals in there. As you can see, without anything else in there, it's quite big inside. And uh, now that is the um, inner tent that's going to go for the sleeping area. Let's put that up. And you can see these grey bits that go across. They're like support members. Um, so it makes the tent incredibly strong. The inner is just a case of clipping it on the four corners. There's clips that go onto there. And then there's a couple of clips for you've got your ground sheet, sewn in ground sheet that goes in there as well. And then to hang it up, all you do is clip all the clips onto there. And then you've got your main one that's on a red one that holds it up in the middle. And just like that, that is the inside. So that's the sleeping compartment. There we go. And now time to get the airbed in there. My air mat is self-inflating, so all you do is twist this round and then leave it and then let it do its thing so i'm going to let that get on and then i'm going to try and level that out a little bit i think so it does look a bit slopey i don't want to be sliding off so everything set up as best i can i've gone and parked the car up as well because there's a sign saying that um you're not allowed to leave the car there in that bit so you have to park it in front of this building here which is a kids nursery i've just been and looked at that and I've just realised that this place here is called the Lodge, this funny old decrepit building. But inside here there's plugs where you can charge your phone. Um, it's a bit strange not having anyone here to sort of tell you all these things. You just have to work it out from the sign. Um, 
Now I'm going to try and work out where to get water, which I assume is at the toilet and shower block over there, which looks reasonable. It's not the best, but it looks okay. Um, and then I really want to go and find this lake, although I'm quite hungry, but I do want to find the lake. Just found the drinking water tap, which is around the back of the um, toilet and shower block. There's also some washing up sinks here. There's hot water as well. Um, you can also, there's a tumble dryer and washing machine somehow, and waste point there. Hmm. So that's, I've got a new water thing by the way. I, might, I bought a cheap fold up one, but it, it soon it broke straight away, it was rubbish. So I got this one, so hopefully this should do the job, 10 litres. Just having a little walk, it's very lumpy <laughs> to try and find the pond uh, at the fishing lake. So supposedly fishing lake, there might not be anything in it. Um, I'm highly doubting there's much in it. Uh, I'm just slightly worried now that I'm walking to, into a field with horses in. Um, I'm sort of okay with horses, but I don't really want to be dealing with them. <laughs> really sure where I'm going. Uh, which, all I know is it's somewhere towards the train line, which I've seen trains going down here. Um, I believe there's two ponds. Is this it? No. That looks like someone's house there. Uh, there is also a Christmas tree farm. I've seen Christmas trees over that way. Uh, it did say about that on Pitch Up. Oh, by the way, if any ca in case anyone's wondering how much it is to stay here, it's £14 a night. Um, so pretty cheap. Uh, Right, this is now a big field, and I'm not really sure where I'm going. I'm heading towards horses. Okay. I'm now pretty close to the horses, um, but they seem friendly bunch. They do look a bit like cowboy horses. This could be a bit like my other vlog. If you've not seen that one, check out that one. <laughs> um, it does feel a bit like there's hillbillies in these hills. Um, and there is the Christmas trees. A beautiful old tree, look at that. I think I'm, I'm lost, I really have no idea where I'm going. Um, she said it's sort of off to the left slightly. Well, I'm sort of walking to the left slightly. But I don't see a fishing lake anywhere unless it's in those woods. Um, hmm, I kind of feel if I keep walking down this way, I'm going to get to the train line. I can't be far from it. I'll keep going. I don't know why this bit's fenced in here. What the deal is with that? Uh, there's plenty of horse poo around here as well. <laughs> I've already got my Crocs on. I've not really got the um, oh, lovely, the correct footwear for this. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. There was one that came up that was a proper fishing lake on pitch up. I'm kind of wishing I had gone there because I mainly came here to go fishing. Um, and also it's a good location and it's cheap. Oh God, I don't see a fishing lake. Oh dear. <laughs> I've reached the train line. Um, not many trains seem to come past here, although it is a Sunday, so maybe tomorrow there will be. Um, and my tent is somewhere all the way up there. Those two having a little kiss over there. Oh no, we can't show that sort of thing on YouTube. <laughs> now walking back on myself, and I'm assuming maybe it's over there. I still don't see anything. I might have to check the pictures on Pitch Up because I'm sure I saw pictures of a lake or a pond. can't believe it. I've actually found a lake. Um, I don't know if that was a fishing peg there, but I don't think I'll be wanting to go on that. Um, oh, did something just jump then? There might be fish in here. Uh, I'm really tempted to go and get my, my rod and have a go. Oh shit, look, there's a heron. <laughs> there must be fish in here if the heron's around. Interesting. There's some big old lily pads here as well. 
could be carp in here. Who knows? <laughs> I think I could have a go at fishing here. Exciting. <laughs> this actually made the hair stand up on the back of my neck finding this. Oh, there's a carp. I don't know if you can see that in the water. Is it a carp? I don't think you can see it on the camera, but that is a big fish in there. I don't think you'll see it on the camera, but I can see fish. Oh, one's just come to the surface there as well. Wow. This is looking promising, but the up going towards those lily pads there, there's a big, there's a big fish. I'm assuming it's a carp. Well, that's cheered me up, actually. Um, I am tempted to come and have a quick go. I'm wondering how deep this is. Uh, it would be interesting. Or maybe I should wait till tomorrow. Uh, I don't know where I'll fish it. I'm going to have a little wander around, see where I'd actually fish it from. Maybe, maybe here. Oh. There's definitely fish in here. It reminds me of a lake I used to fish when I was a kid that had very, very big carp in it. Um, unfortunately, I haven't got a rod that is designed for big carp fishing, so... Um, but I think we should give it a go. I decided to be patient. Um, I'm really hungry, so I'm going to go back and eat. Also, the sunlight is quickly fading. And, oh, I'm out of breath now. It's actually quite a long walk. Um, <laughs> from the tent to there. Especially when you don't know where it is. Um, so I'm going to go back, make some food. Um, I think I might have treated myself to a beer. Um, yeah, that's going to be a good idea. And then get my bed sorted out and get into bed because I've got to be up early for work. But the good news is I will be back here early tomorrow. So I can get some good fishing in. And I went and bought some maggots earlier as well. <laughs> and some sweet corn. So I've got plenty of bait for the fishies. Whew. I've certainly got my um, exercise in today and burnt my calories. Oh, definitely a day of losing weight today. The ranch, trying to, time to make some food. I've got my trusty OEX stove here, so this screws onto the gas bottle. Then when you put your mug here, um, on the top, do that one-handed, no. Anyway, they're handles that fold round. You've got your lid goes on top there. I also bought some tins of soup, um, but I'm gonna make a huel. Um, which I've got down there in the bag. Um, yeah. Then crack open a beer. There it goes. I'll be a curse one that wasn't from but that's a new bottle of gas. Um, and I've got Cajun pasta. They're nice, so you just put two scoops in the pot, 200 ml of water, boiling water, leave it, give it a good mix, leave it for 10 minutes, and you your uncle for dinner. Well, that did go well. The water boiled over. I was trying to get some stuff out of the box. It boils incredibly quickly, that um, that, pa that pot, um, especially when you've got new gas on. So I'm going to let that, um, leave that for 10 minutes. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm going to crack open a bottle of Brooklyn Brewery, Brooklyn Pilsner, 4.6%. Lovely. By the way, I think it's the law that you have to drink when you're camping. <laughs> let me know. What do you do when you set up the tent? Do you have a drink? Let me know in the comments. Sounds like a lot of crows in this bit of forest behind me. I just saw a bat as well. I don't know if you can hear that on here. <laughs> this is what never ceases to amaze me in this country. These amazing places um, that you can go and stay at. Um, have a look on pitch. I look at pitch up pitchup.com. Um, that's where I found this. And there's so many nice places on there that I can't wait to go to and check out. Um, I mean, like, when the weather's nice in this country, there really is nowhere better. You can see why all the millionaires and everything spend their summers in the UK and then go off to all the houses around the world for the winter. Because um, when the sun shines here, it is, really is the best place in the world. We are very lucky living here. Or if you don't live here, um, come and visit in the summer. <laughs> Hopefully you'll be lucky and come on a week when we actually have some sunshine. Um, because the weather's been horrendous this year. But anyway, I, I digress. I'm hoping as it gets darker now, this, the moon's just come out, that these crows shut up. Well, I assume they're crows. Maybe they aren't crows, actually. 
I don't know what they are, but they're, they're flying about all over the show. Oh, they're buggering off. Oh. <laughs> they must have heard me. A whole flock of them, they all just flew away. <laughs> it's now silent. I think they must have heard me. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> I'm getting chilly. Um, time to get the bedding sorted out. Uh, brush my teeth and get into bed, I reckon. Maybe make a green tea before I get in as well. <laughs> I've got to put the um, pod up now, the colour. Oh, excuse me, that beer's repeating. <laughs> yeah, I've got to put the pod up and uh, get the bedding in, get the sleeping bag out as well. Um, got quite a lot of work to do actually, so I better crack on with it because it's now... 10 past nine, God. All right, the cocoon is up. Now tell me if this doesn't look cozy to you. So you're basically sleeping inside a sleeping bag. So if I come in here, look at this. <laughs> this is toasty. I cannot wait to get into, into here. All right, so that's everything sorted out. Just been having a little tidy up. Plenty of space, you can't really see. Um, so I'm gonna go and wash up my pot, brush my teeth, have a wee, and uh, get into bed. Oh, make a green tea as well. I forgot I've got strawberries, so I'm going to eat those before bed and a cup of green tea. And hopefully, I'll get this right this time. I can't actually see if that's boiling or not. I've got a funny feeling that is actually boiling. I hope yeah, that's definitely boiling. Here we go again. Uh oh. <laughs> I thought there's a whistling. I think that's actually an owl that's whistling, not the not the um, not the water. Right, green tea time. Well, this is great. Just gone to brush my teeth, and I forgot my toothbrush. Um, I've packed the toothpaste, <laughs> but not my toothbrush. What an idiot! Oh god, that's annoying. <laughs> I hate not brushing my teeth. Uh, well, that's gonna be a job for tomorrow, isn't it? Go and buy a toothbrush in the morning before work. Great. So I'm all tucked up in bed, um, off to sleep, should be okay, it's nice and quiet, um, I'll get back to you in the morning, um, gonna set the alarm, gotta be up early, uh, off to Walthamstow first thing, I just looked, it's only about an hour away from here, which is good, because it's like a good two hours from Worthing, so it's nice being a bit closer to London here, anyway, I'll see you in the morning, Good night. And if you're still here, make sure you hit like and subscribe as well. Good morning. Um, so I slept really well, actually. Although I did stay up too late. I was on my phone looking on Facebook and TikTok and what have you. Um, by the way, make sure you subscribe to my tick, follow my TikTok, Ben Bamboozle. Um, so for breakfast, I've got um, some chopped apple uh, with porridge. I have two of these instant porridges. This is the Tesco one. You just had just had boiling water and the Quaker one. Um, I actually much prefer the, the Tesco one and it's half the price, but I only had one of them left. So uh, I've got one of those and a Quaker. Black coffee, um, banana and uh, cinnamon to put on it as well. Um, so I'm just going to leave those a couple of minutes and uh, eat those and wake up a bit. I'm not really a morning person at all. Um, it seems quite quite a nice morning this morning. It's it's uh, not too cold. Um, there seems to be a few. I've seen a few mosquitoes around and I've been sort of itching a bit. I don't know if I've been bitten or not. My nose is shiny, isn't it? Look at that. Look like Rudolph. So I had a nice uh, shave. I forgot how lovely it is having hot water at a campsite. Um, the last one we stayed at didn't, um, and it makes the world a difference. Uh, I had a nice wash and shave this morning. Gonna have a shower when I get back um, this evening. I've got my work clothes on, um, shirt, trousers. The only problem is I have forgot my shoes, so this is gonna be my footwear. Uh, Crocs, but I'm doing a holiday club thing, doing a balloon making workshop, so let me know if you think Crocs are okay. <laughs> <laughs> to be working in, I think so. At, at least I'm going to be comfortable in them. Um, anyway, just making one last coffee to take with me. Um, I put my battery pack on charge in the lodge bit, so I need to not forget that. And then off to Walthamstow. 
Oh, also, I bought a new knife for camping the other day. Um, this is a Victorian ox folding. Um, it's called a pairing knife. Pairing knife <laughs> um, for cutting up uh, fruit and vegetables. Um, but it is razor sharp. Very good. It wasn't cheap. I think it was about nearly twenty quid. But um, ideal for camping. Anyway, water's boiling already. Bye bye, tent. Uh, I shall see you later. I'll leave you in the capable hands of the horses down in the field there. Hopefully it'll still be here when I get back and no one breaks in or anything. Right, let's get going. I wished I could just stay here. So far every time I've been camping I've had to get up and go to work, which is horrible. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, the end of the month. We're now in August, once we get to the beginning of September. Um, I've got a few days free where I'm definitely going to go away and I can't wait just to have a nice chilled out day, wake up whenever I want, not set an alarm, have breakfast and just chill out and relax um, would be lovely rather than having to set the alarm for 5.30, get up and sit in traffic on the M25 and head into, into uh, London. Yeah, I do love my tent. So it's 40 miles to get to my um, job this morning. As I say, I'm doing a balloon making workshop for a school holiday club, um, just over an hour, which is at least an hour closer than from Worthing. Um, it's a very good location for me work-wise because I do a lot um, around this neck of the woods and tomorrow I'm in Broadstairs, <coughs> which um, is also about an hour closer at least. Uh, so that's good. So saving fuel by going camping and uh, hopefully I can find a toothbrush en route as well. I hate not brushing my teeth. Uh, last night I just got some toothpaste and used my finger but it wasn't quite as effective. <laughs> so I just stopped off at Tesco's and bought a few bits. Um, had a little while walking around there. Uh, I got a new car window mount for my phone because my one that I've got, uh, the phone keeps dropping off, it's terrible so this looks a bit better. Um, I've got some mosquito repellent because I got bitten last night. I also got some stuff to put on it as well. Some cans of cream soda, um, toothbrush and toothpaste. <laughs> Not that I needed to, well I needed toothpaste for home. I've got some with me but I thought I'd get some other toothpaste. And uh, I've got this little cook set as well. It's reduced to £4.50. It's a little saucepan um, plate and lid all folds together. And I thought for £4.50 it's worth getting. I haven't I suppose I could use it on my stove, but I'm going to get a proper stove at some point, so that'd be ideal because often they're quite expensive, those camping sets. So, anything else? Uh, oh, and a, an air freshener, a 75 pence um, playing card one. I thought it was Freddie Mercury on there to start, is it? No, it's not. Um, but anyway, yeah. <laughs> So it's now nine o'clock, um, I better go to the school and get set up to do my balloon making workshop. Basically I teach the kids how to make various different balloons, uh, things like a dog, a sword, a giraffe, heart, flower, um, hat, uh, it's normally chaos. <laughs> I've got to do it for two hours as well so that's a lot of pumping up balloons. There we go, balloons all out and ready to start pumping up and crock. I've just got back and I've just been, I don't know if you can see that one there. Um, is that a red kite? No, I'm not sure, it's just hovering looking for prey. Anyway, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous day. Um, it was lovely, lovely little 45 minute drive back from there. Normally that's over two hours to get back to Worthing. And uh, here I am. Tent is still here, it looks, it looks okay just as I left it. And uh, I'm going to get changed, get my shorts on, make a cup of coffee, I think I'm going to go fishing. Oh, I'll have a little look in the forest as well, actually. Absolutely covered in mosquito bites, I tend to get them quite badly. Um, I've got one there, uh, one on my foot as well, just there. Ooh, little veins, horrible. <laughs> Even one on my finger, just there. Bit of a rookie mistake that, not bringing the old spray with me. Um, I do tend to suffer from them. Uh, I always tend to get bitten. I've got spray at home as well, but I guess it's just the time of the year with the weather being so wet. Now it's heating up. Um, I have kept the 
the fly screen shut on there, so I'm going to spray this all around the tent and on me. Uh, and I'm just chilling out now with a coffee, enjoying the view. There you go. Look at those clouds, they're like the Simpsons clouds, aren't they, on the opening credits of the Simpsons. <laughs> and then I'll be down there in a bit, fishing. I think the horses recognise me, they come to say hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello guys, <laughs> I've got nothing for you. <laughs> oh, scary, that's a bit too close for my like. Hello. A lot more friendly today. Maybe they do recognise you. Maybe they know that I'm, I'm not a threat. Or maybe they're coming to threat me. <laughs> Just got down here and this is going to be the spot I'm going to fish from. Um, let's see how deep this is. I'm just worried it looks quite uncapped if there's going to be a lot of weeds and stuff in here. Hopefully I don't get tangled on anything, but if I set up here, if I catch a big fish, hopefully it can't drag me too far in any direction to any weeds or anything. We'll just see. Let's see how deep it is. The float on that is really shallow. Um, if I dunk it in the water, it's... That's the bottom just there. Oh, shit. The fish just grabs that. <laughs> <laughs> a fish just grabbed the plummet. <laughs> Christ, it felt quite big as well. Jesus. Look, a fish is grabbing the plummet. What is it doing? <laughs> um, I'd say it might be easy to catch here. Let's find out, but they fish feel quite big. God, <laughs> I've never had that before. Decided to go with the sweet prawn to start with. Um, let's give this a whirl. I'm a bit worried now. The fish definitely feel big in, in this pond. And I've only got quite a light line. So let's have a whirl. I dunked it in and straight away a fish grabbed it. But it wasn't quite as big as I was expecting. <laughs> it's absolutely tiny. <laughs> Number two and it's another little tiny one. But as soon as I dunked it in I hooked it straight away one it is a little baby one but there is a huge carp just swam all around my my float so there are bigger fish so they should be bigger to come this is a bigger fish um this is a bit too big for my line let's see if i can land it if i can i'm not sure i'm going to god he's fighting hard he took my hook um i knew my line wasn't strong enough for that that was a big fish oh dear <laughs> uh, it's baking hot here i've taken my top off Hello ladies. <laughs> I'm not sure how many fish I've caught. It's a hell of a lot. I've had fun and games here. I lost my rig at one point. Um, that fish, uh, that big fish took my hook earlier and got away with that one. Um, so I didn't land that unfortunately. That was the biggest one that I've hooked. Um, all the others have been little tiddlers. Um, but I'm now fishing with sweet corn. I'm just gonna show you how quick it is to catch a fish or at least to get a bite. Let me show you. Probably famous last words, I won't now. But the, the little fish, there's just millions of them in here. Right, here we go. This is hard to do one-handed. Let's have a go here. I flicked it out into the water. There we go. Straight on with a bite. And that's how quick you get a fish. There you go. I'll just unhook this. So I finished fishing. My elastic snapped on my pole. Luckily, I've got the rig. Um, and I've just tipped the whole of the bag of maggots in. Um, and the fish are now going crazy. No more fishing from me today or tomorrow. I need to get new pole elastic. I've actually ordered a new pole today, um, the Browning Dragon Net, uh, which will be good. If I'd have had that, I could have landed the big fish earlier, most definitely. By the way, that noise that you might have heard there, that sounded a bit like a gunshot. There's a, obviously a golf club next door. Um, I keep hearing it. There's a train going past. Also, I think there's been a woodpecker in the tree that I've heard going around. Um, so the, the fish can enjoy all my maggots that I bought yesterday. <laughs> With no fear of being hooked. So that was good. Um, there is a sign saying that it's only for fishing by a fishing club, um, by members of a fishing club. Uh, but the woman who owns the lake has said that I'm allowed to use it. I assume she owns it. 
Um, I don't know if that's a very old sign and, and it's not the case anymore, I'm not sure, but no one's been down there. It, it, I get the feeling that no one really fishes this very often. Um, and, and I don't think it's necessarily stocked or kept that well from all the reeds and everything in here and the amount of little tiny fish as well. Um, if, if I had a better carp set up, I'm sure it'd be well worth trying to just go after the carp with larger baits. The problem is with a small hook, all I'm hooking is just the, the small little fish all the time, which is fun enough, but um, it'd be nice to get something a bit, a bit of a decent size. Anyway, I'll get geared up for that another day. Um, so the fish live to fight another day. Um, <laughs> I'll put them all back anyway. I don't know how many I caught today. Um, certainly the most fish I've ever caught in a session. Uh, something big just came to the surface then, typical. Anyway, I'm going to go back now and I'm going to have a shower and uh, then have some dinner. Someone's in the shower at the moment, so I'm going to have a little look around the woods here. So I've got like a um, fire pit area where you can get logs from the box over there. I've got like an honesty box and they pay with a QR code. So you can buy a bag of logs and have a campfire, sing some songs um, and have a little look down, see what's in the woods. Hmm, smells a bit. <laughs> ah, what's this down here then? Beekeeping? Not sure. Hillbillies? Moonshine? <laughs> Stumbled upon a carrot. I don't know if that's a clue for anything. I'm not sure this goes anywhere. By the way, down the hill here is Weald Village, which looked very familiar. I think I did a Punch and Judy show there years ago. And uh, there is an Italian restaurant at the bottom of the hill that looks very nice. And uh, there's a pub in the village, and the village green. And yeah, it looks quite nice down there. I think it's definitely been down here in the fairly recently digging all this up. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't actually a path. Whoop! <laughs> Perhaps I went down a hole then. Well, I'm not sure this goes anywhere. Thanks for coming to join me. Are they going to the tent? <laughs> Could be crispy fried duck for dinner. Jump on the barbecue. Now that is free. Um, not the cleanest looking one that I've ever seen, but it will do. Oh, that shower felt so good on all my mosquito bites. I'm in back, bitten on my head, my neck, my back, my legs, um, everywhere. I'm just going to put some more of the pen stuff on and some more of the spray. I think we have a really good spray tonight. Right, and then I'm going to cook dinner. I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to have a soup. I've got Heinz soup and I'm going to have Yule and I think it's too late for coffee. Maybe green tea. Right, green tea. Um, that's the Huel spaghetti carbonara, pasta carbonara. Um, they're the fake bacon beets bits that are inside it. Um, and then I'm going to try Heinz scotch broth. I've never had it before, but I'm going to put it in there. And I'm hoping it doesn't just burn it. Let's have a go. It's got on quite a low heat. This is called the OE OEX Hero. I think it's about 45 quid from Go Outdoors. It's been worth its weight in gold, this thing has. Could turn it up a lot higher than that, but I think it will just stick to the bottom of it, which it might already be doing actually. Right, better end the video and sort this out. <laughs> just had a little taste of it, it's very hot, but it's very nice. Scotch, scotch broth, I like that. Mine's mean, scotch broth. And uh, here's my view. The neighbours are playing football, but that's okay. Um, still only them here, just me and one other tent. That sky. So relaxing. So that was starter of the scotch broth and now the main course, the Huel Carbonara. My old favourite. I quite fancy a dessert now. Um, unfortunately I didn't get any strawberries earlier, but the best thing I've got is a Huel bar. So I'm going to eat that and another cup of green tea. And then I'm thinking about having an early night actually. Um, I didn't get to sleep till late last night and obviously it was up at 5.30 this morning. So um, I think I'm going to eat this, have my tea, brush my teeth, and I think I might just get into bed. Hello, I forgot to do a um, 
getting into bed video. <laughs> uh, it's now 4am. Uh, just woke up. I was pretty much passed out. Um, I'm going to go back to sleep again. Uh, my mosquito bites are really hurting me. Um, I hopefully haven't been bit again this evening. I've, the spray seems to have stopped. I can't see any in the tent anywhere. Um, and where they sort of linger at the top of the air vents, um, since I put the spray there, there's none, there's none in here. So I think they must just be from last night. Anyway, I'm going to try and get, I've got about another hour before the alarm goes off. I hate it when that happens, don't you? When you wake up an hour before your alarm goes off. Um, I'll probably end up falling asleep and getting into a deep sleep like five minutes before it goes off. Anyway, I'm off to Broadstairs today. Uh, to do the Punch and Judy show on the beach. We had some rain in the night, which was quite nice. Um, it stopped now. It's not cold at all. Um, yeah, well, I'll see when it gets a bit more daylight. Good morning. I haven't watched that last clip back at 4 a.m. I was probably waffling and talking a load of nonsense. Anyway, I had a little lay in till 7.30. I worked out I could stay in bed till. Um, and I've got the usual routine of porridge, coffee, with apple and banana in. I'm having the um, co-op own brand this morning, but it's, it's I can already tell it's not as good. My favourite so far out of the instant porridge range has been the um, Tesco's. I highly recommend those. They're lovely. Um, much better than the, the more expensive Quaker ones. Um, so I'm going to get hold of some of the Tesco ones for next time. Anyway, I'm going to eat my porridge and coffee. It's a lovely morning. I say lovely, we had a bit of rain in the night, but um, it's not bad, not cold at all. It's lovely sitting here having my breakfast. And then uh, off to sunny Broadstairs I'll go to do my Punch and Judy show on the beach. So stick with me and uh, I'll show you Broadstairs. Just got in the car, it's about an hour and a half, uh, 64 miles from here to Broadstairs, um, which is a lot better than going from Worthing again. So, um, hopefully we won't hit, hit too much traffic on route. Here we go. And there we have it, Punch and Judy. Here on the beach at Broadstairs. Nice day for it today. <laughs> Seagulls have arrived already. <laughs> and I've got to do three shows today. Um, 12.30, 1.30, And I'll take you for a little look inside the tent as well. Or booth, I should say. Okay. A behind the scenes look inside the Punch and Judy show. This is how I get in the back. And here's all the puppets laid out. There's Mr. Punch, Judy. Sorry, Judy, sausages. <laughs> um, town crier there, Jerry the Clown, Judy, policeman, crocodile, skeleton, witch, monkey baby. When I'm doing the show I stand up and I can see through this screen here. Okay. And yeah that's it. I've been here for twice a week um, for the summer holidays. been booked by the council to come and do shows here um, every Tuesday and Friday. So it's my final week this week um, which means it's the end of the summer holidays and the kids are going back to school soon. So it's all going well here. I can't really show the beach. I don't know if I get done for nudity. There's no, well, no one is naked, but um, you know what I mean? I can't really show uh, people some bathing. So, um, but it's packed on the beach anyway, needless to say. So yeah, all good. One more show to go. And then I can get back to the tent. Um, I'm actually gonna pack up this evening. I have booked to stay tonight, but unfortunately I've got work tomorrow. Um, in Littlehampton and I've got to be there in the morning so it kind of makes sense unfortunately to pack up tonight and then head back home. Uh, only problem I've got is, is the, these mosquito bites are terrible. My finger is really bad which is bad for doing the puppets um, and my legs are disgusting. Um, I really do suffer with mosquito bites. Let me know in the comments if there's anything good for preventing mosquitoes and um, treating mosquitoes. Uh, what do you do? Uh, I've been looking, you can get some battery, they do battery powered zappers now that you can have in your tent, um, which look okay. I don't really want to go down the candle route, 
because apparently they could be poisonous, can cancerous, apparently. And the citronella candles, apparently they're not good for you. Um, I guess the anti-repellent spray is good. I should have done that really yesterday. I didn't just didn't think about it. I didn't even see any, so I just assumed that um, that would be all right. Anyway, I'll get over it. I'll live. Um, yeah, not a lot else to say, really. Uh, there's a seagull coming towards me. <laughs> if ever you come to Broadstairs, Broadstairs seagulls are something else. They are some of the most aggressive seagulls you will ever encounter. And I'm back at the tent. Um, it's lovely. I really don't want to be packing up. I've decided that I'm going to treat myself and stay and have some dinner. Um, yeah. I'm gonna have the same as yesterday, Heinz dinner soup. I think I got, not sure, I'll just see what I got. I think I got lentil, I think there's a beef one. Um, and then I'm gonna have huel, which I think will be um, Cajun pasta, that's the one. Uh, there's only me in the one other tent here. The other one that was here when I got here is gone now. So um, this one came in last night. I think they're from um, Holland, they had a, uh, Dutch number plates, uh, yeah. I've noticed that quite a lot actually, a lot of the campsites I've been to, there's been um, a lot of Dutch people. Obviously camping's very popular with the Dutch, especially when they come over here. Um, well that makes sense really. Um, certainly cheaper than renting hotels. Anyway, I'm going to have my dinner, uh, eat that, and then I'm going to have to do the, the not very nice part of packing away. Oh, and while I'm here, if you're still watching, um, I should put in the the secret word to leave in the comments, really. Um, I think to, it should be fitting that it should be mosquito, really, from the amount I've been bitten. Um, so type the word mosquito, or if you can't spell mosquito, um, put the word bite um, in the comment. <laughs> Just so I don't know if anyone's got to this stage and is still watching. And if you're new to the channel, please do hit like and subscribe as well. And just like that, it's all packed away. That took me, I'd say about an hour or so, maybe. Um, the worst part's all the rolling, isn't it? Getting things in, rolling stuff up and putting it in the bags. There's the tent, um, the sleeping bag, the mat, um, the cocoon. Uh, it's a nightmare, isn't it? In fact, my mate got a job in a circus once because um, he was the only one who could get the tent in the bag. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's enough bad circus jokes. Anyway, that's been my um, first solo trip camping. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, please leave a comment, please hit like, please subscribe as well. And uh, yeah, let me know what you liked about the video. Let me know what you want to see more of. Um, drop me a comment, uh, it'd be good to hear from you. And I will be back soon with some more videos. I'm going to be going to Benidorm again in a couple of weeks time so let me know if you want to see a video from there. I'm hoping to go away camping before that as well. Um, oh a little one of those little fake wasps has just landed on the phone. Um, so yeah uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I've got to drive home now and then tomorrow I'm doing Punch and Judy in Little Hampton so up early for work tomorrow. So uh, yeah very very busy but that's good isn't it? Anyway, bye-bye everybody, thank you for watching.